Welcome back guys, this is the Looted Tech Sound Activated Party Light with remote control. It is an RGB disco ball strobe lamp with seven modes of stage lighting and can be used for parties or just lighting up your room, pretty much whatever you want to do. So the sound activated basically just means that um, you play music next to it and the lights should change according to the beat of the music depending on how good the microphone is. Uh, I bought it for $14 on Amazon and it came in two-day shipping and this is what comes directly out of the box. You, ow. <clears throat> you have a stand so you actually have to put this stand on yourself. It is plastic. It is not metal. I had one of these earlier that I did a review on I believe and the stand was metal so this one's plastic just so you know that. It comes with the remote. It has all these different options on it so you have the power uh, on off DMX, I'm not sure what DMX means, start stop, different music, flash, and then I'm guessing just different modes. And then you can take out this little plastic part here to actually allow you to use a remote because the plastic part is keeping the metal from the battery from touching the remote. So this will complete the circuit. So now it should work. And then we also have the actual strobe light slash whatever light it is, um, party light itself. It actually looks pretty neat. Um, just kind of looking inside there has kind of a kaleidoscope effect and then to put the stand on all you have to do is unscrew the side screws here put the stand hole where the screw hole was on one side put the screw back in the stand allows you to angle it so if you put the stand right here and then you twist the screws tighter then you can kind of put it like that or if you want to angle it you can do different angles like this so it'll go that way or if you want to put it straight up. And I think you can also put this onto a tripod, uh, but I don't have one readily available because I'm using mine. Uh, so it looks like there are not any actual buttons on here, which means if you lose the remote, I don't think you'll be able to actually change modes. So let's plug it in and see how it looks. So here's the product plugged in. As you can see, it actually looks really, really cool. Uh, the one I used earlier was more of a straight projection, but this covers an entire room goes all the way around. Um, that is definitely something I've not seen before. And just look at that. That looks really, really cool. I'm definitely impressed with this just on the visuals alone. I'm really impressed with this just on the visuals alone and the fact that it covers the entire room. As you can see, I have it on the stool here. So it is elevated. If it was lower down, then the lights would be kind of on the sides. But since it is a lot higher up then it will be covering um, higher up on the wall. I have the remote here. I'm going to start flipping through it and see what happens. So it's DMX mode. I'm not sure what that is. Um, nothing's really happening. Let's try start and stop. Okay so stop just makes the motor stop so it keeps on changing colors but the motor is not going and then we can press start again to make sure it keeps going. I'm not entirely sure what's being changed with A1 through 7, but I'm going to keep on pressing them. This is a 5. I think it might just be colors. And A6. Yeah, so I think it's just colors and A7. So A7 is red. A7 should be alternating colors. And then you can kind of go back down the line. You can kind of go back down the line to see what changes. And then I'll, I think you could also change the speed with the minus and plus button. So let's press the plus button a few times. And it's definitely faster. Press the minus button. And it goes slower maybe. There we go. So that's slower, faster. So you can change the speed of which it changes. So A1 through 7 changes the dedicated color. So 2 is green, 3 is red, 4 is blue. 5 is a yellowish, 6 is a purple, 7 is alternating, and I think I didn't do 1, 1 should be blue. So you can see that it does let you choose the colors, and that's actually pretty cool. I'm going to play some music and see how it handles that. Okay, so I put my phone directly next to it, right there, and it actually seems to be picking it up pretty well in terms of the beat. So you can see that it doesn't have any lights when there's no 
beat. Hmm, doesn't seem to be picking up certain sounds, so maybe when it goes back to a beat, we'll be able to... Oop, there it goes. So the microphones aren't too sensitive. Oh, there we go. So, it's just playing from my phone speaker, which isn't very loud. I imagine with actual speakers, it would be much, much better. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to play my actual speakers. So I have my speakers on that are much louder than my iPhone, but it doesn't seem to be picking it up. There we go. So, <laughs> my speaker is directly next to the light, and it's just not picking it up, so if I'll bring it out a little bit. And it stopped right there. So it has to be like an inch away for it to actually work, which is a little bit annoying. But it does seem to react to the sound, it just has to be either very, very loud or very, very close. So I'm just letting it go for a while, just so you can see the different colors that it has. It's on the random mode. Um, I'm still not sure what DMX mode does. I've pressed it and nothing really seems to happen. I'm sure I can look online and try to figure out what that means, but for now I'm not really sure. At least out of the box it doesn't seem explicit whether it really does anything or not. Um, but the remote works, the light works, it looks very, very pretty. You have all these different options. It does react with music, it just has to be very, very close to it. One thing I did notice is if you turn the motor on the lowest setting, it starts to whine. You can hear that. And if I... And if I make it faster, then the whine goes away. So, on the slowest setting, it seems to have a noise to it. Um, so if you want to use this when you are kind of like trying to sleep or just relaxing, you don't want the whine of the motor, I would suggest using headphones. If you're playing music with it, then you shouldn't be able to hear the whining of the motor. Um, it's just an interesting note that you can hear the motor on the lowest setting, but not at the highest setting or any settings between, only at the lowest, so just keep that in mind. Overall, for a $14 light projector, this is pretty good. I am not really a huge fan of the rotating lights. That's only personal preference for me. I had another light projector that looked like waves on the ceiling. That was much more calming for me, but this would be a lot better for a party, so if you want to use it for that, definitely go for it. Um, it's cheap, it works beautifully, except for the uh, <laughs> the microphone. It's not very sensitive, so you have to have your music playing very, very loud, or you have to have your music playing directly next to it. And I'm talking like an inch or two away for it to actually pick it up. But once it does pick it up, it works pretty well. So this is the Ludatech light projector. Um, it has seven different modes. It sort of responds to music. It goes faster, slower, has all these different colors. Uh, this is Ryan Views. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.